And here we have more absolute value equation. Let's start with number 3. The absolute value of 3 minus x is equal to 4. So we're going to split up the um, insides of the absolute value here. The first one, we're just going to have positive 3 minus x is equal to 4. And on the other side, we're just going <coughs> to we're just going to have negative 3 minus x equals 4. Of course, that's because if we have a negative value in here, we're going to have to switch the signal to make it positive. So let's just solve for x. Over here, I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. So negative x is equal to 4 minus 3, positive 1. Then I can divide both sides by negative 1. So x is going to be... 1 divided by negative 1, just negative 1. What about over here? So we have a minus or a negative outside here. What do we do with it? Well, let's pretend we have a negative 1 here. So we're going to have to distribute this. So negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Negative 1 times negative x, just plus x or positive x. And that's equal to 4. Okay, then we just add 3 to both sides of the equation. So these guys cancel out. Bring down the x. 4 plus 3 is 7. So x is 7, or x is negative 1. And both answers would work over here. Um, if you're new to this, let's just plug in the 7, see what happens. Why is that positive? So 3 minus 7, how is that equal to 4? Well, 3 minus 7 is negative 4, and the absolute value of negative 4 is just positive 4. Because the negative, sorry, the absolute value of a negative number is just the same number but positive. So both these answers work.